it's part it's part of something which we've been working on in our cluster. Each of our year groups and our cluster schools get together for a particular day, and ours was a DT one. So we decided that we didn't just want to take a few children and do a DT project then. We wanted to involve a lot more children. So, in fact, we ended up with you involving 243 learners in 56 groups with eight tasks to do across all seven schools in the cluster in five locations, but on one theme. And the glue that held it all together was the learning platform, was our university learning platform. So, the idea was to be creative, collaborative, and to be able to communicate and to foster all the 21st century skills that we've heard talk about this evening. Not all the schools that were involved were perhaps up to the same speed on this. One of the things I would try to do was encourage the other schools to actually use the learning platform as creatively as they could. And so we were using the learning platform. We were using the forums on the learning platform and the upload areas. And we're also using a programme called MExplore as well. And my colleague Tina, who has uh, helped, helped us all plan this, is in the audience tonight. And she's done a great deal of work towards this as well. And it's particularly the MExplore part. So this is the, uh, the main page of the learning platform, the theme parks page. And 56 groups... In fact, seven main groups, each named after an inventor, seven teams, and each team had representatives in it doing eight different tasks. The original plan was that, in fact, every school would have um, a team, but in fact, unfortunately, it didn't work out that, like that when some of the schools dropped out of that section, but we still managed to have all groups working. So if you go into one of the groups... This is the Berners-Lee group. All, <coughs> all the groups are named after famous inventors. You can see that Berners-Lee group, and they've got this t eight tasks to do. Seven at home and one away. So the one away task is for the group of children that are going off to work together. And so we sent off some children to Reading University, who kindly loaned us one of their rooms, and with the help of some STEM net in ambassadors, about seven or eight STEMnet ambassadors, they started on this DT project to make a fairground rind, which to anyone teaching year six is a pretty familiar thing, I think. And we posted all those pictures on MXplore. So here are some of the children from the uh, diff seven different schools participating. So we chose children to go that we thought would be pretty good DT skills, but also would actually not end up fighting each other. I mean, collaborate well when they actually got there, because each of uh, the teams were not school-based teams. Each team had um, members from every school. So they, at the beginning of the day, they didn't know anyone at all. And uh, Pete there at the back kindly did some team-building exercises with them as well to get them into the mood of things as well. So there we they were all there at the university in the room. So they were actually doing task eight. So as, as Lars has shown, we also use having learning objectives, context and success criteria, which the children have to meet. I had to, for this particular task, I added a brief as well. So these are the ta this is the task and the learning objective and the context for uh, task eight, the, children, the away team, the children who are actually at the university making theme park ride. And here they are making the rides. These are images which were to Chitina sent up by one of our um, mobile phones up to the up to up to the M Explore website. So the children, whichever school they were at, had a login to M Explore and they could actually see the pictures of the children making the ride and communicate with them. So here we have the children in different schools working together and making the fairground rides. They only had two hours to do this in, so they were, it was pretty good going. And they all worked, didn't they, Tina? Yes, they did. They all worked in that time. So thanks to the STEMnet ambassadors and teachers that were up there, they got all the rides working. 
So while they were doing that, we were involved with the children back at home, back at school. And there's the list of tasks. So task eight is the away team, but the other seven tasks the children were doing at back at Radstock and all the other early cluster schools. So task one, logo and poster. They had to design a logo and poster. But of course, they were one group working at one school. If you were, so if it were a group Babbage group, you might be doing, you know, task one might be in Radstock. Um, task two might be in early St. Peter or one of the other cluster school. Uh, task three might be in Hawkton, another cluster school. Task four might be in White Knights, another cluster school. So this team actually had uh, people working <coughs> in all of the different cluster schools. Well, all the ones that were taking part in that side of things. So the teams were, the only way they could communicate was by the forums on Uniservity and by uh, uploading things. So there was a, quite a bit of Conversa conversation between the teams of actually making a logo and poster, so success, success criteria there, and some of the efforts of different schools done in different pieces of software to actually create a ride, uh, a poster for their ride. Um, the, obviously, the, a lot of these uh, results were then created and uploaded to the platform, so a lot of these done in different bits of software. I think this is done in PowerPoint, for example. But obviously different schools were using different things. And it got them used, in, used to the skill of actually in, uh, uploading things. Task two was look at the design and safety. And again, but I mean, some children didn't use ICT at all. Some children, well, they did use ICT, but they created their products by using good old paper and pencil. But then it was obviously scanned in and uploaded. So the children were not limited to using ICT, they could use whatever way they wanted to actually uh, add their information up. Then we had some doing some history research, and some there. Now, again, obviously, lots of different skills within the group. Some, some were actually editing, but some just copying and pasting. Well, that's inevitable, but hopefully it's part of the learning experience and that there's something which, if we do this again, they will be getting better at as we practice over over time. And the task was uh, a bit more English-like, but a biography. Of course, that's another one of the uh, year six units which you have to do. So again, they have finding out about one of the famous inventors and then writing a bi biography of them. It's in Bar Kingdom of Brunel. was pretty easy for our kids had already done it earlier in the year. But uh, then they had to well, creatively make an advert. Um, oh, here we had flip cams and uh, audio recorders at hand for them to actually make that advert and to add this to the web. Um, again, the time was quite short for these. Again, next year, if we did this again, I think we'll probably give them a bit more time to create some of these things. But we did actually get some videos and some audio uploaded to the site. We'll have to include an example. Then there's actually a design, the overall design of the theme park. Uh, so that this, these groups had to do the design, and here again is design from one school of what the theme park's going to look like, a, a map with various <coughs> rides on it. And finally, uh, looking at the famous designs of the various inventors, um, they chose to do the Sinclair C5. So again, it's various things they did. And of course, eight was the task eight was the actual theme park ride which the away team was doing. So that was our DT day, uh, it, which involved all those children. We rated it quite a good success. It certainly, we think, improved their skills. They had an enjoyable day. They got used to collaborating and working in groups, both in their own school and across schools as well. And it's something we hope to build on next year. We're hoping, in fact, that this will be the third of three days which the cluster schools cooperate on, starting off small and getting bigger as we go on. We're hoping that they're going to be an art project as well as a, an English project and a DT project in the next year. And so we hope to, to build on this and improve their creative, collaborative skills. OK, so thank you very much.